Hello again, in this video I show you how to use the elastic tool. And with the elastic tool you can do different things. Um, first you can do a smock or ruffles or an elastic waistband. Mm, I start with the smock. If I want to make a smock here on the sleeve, um, I first have to add lines to do this. Um, I do a right click with the edit pattern tool on the hem of the sleeve and offset as internal line. Then I can choose how many parallel lines I want to make. Um, maybe five or six. Um, then I can choose the distance or the same distance or in different distances. If I want an individual distance, I go here on individual and then I can do my first line, maybe distance of 30 and then 5 or 10 maybe. And then OK. They are selected now and then I can set them on elastic. So I go here to the property editor and elastic. Here I can set a ratio on how many percent I want to shrink. Um, I look at first here the 80%. So I simulate. I can always select the lines afterwards again and change the number. Maybe this one, then I simulate again. I can also um, go here on show internal lines. Then I can see it better. You can also use elastic for another reason. For example, if you don't want the neckline to stretch, um, then I select the neckline with shift and elastic. And then I set the ratio to 100 instead of 80%. But you can also simulate um, a ruffle or a rubber with elastic. For example, if we want to have a rubber um, at the waist of the shirt, then I simply draw another line or make a parallel and go to elastic again. Um, again, offset the internal line. Here, just one. Maybe. 300 and OK. And then to elastic. And I start again with 80%. Simulate. Or maybe a little more. I select them again. And here. 70. If you have more questions, then write it in the comments.